Hi everyone. So in the earlier video, we had discussed regarding the transverse section of the testis as well as the longitudinal section of the testis. In the transverse section of the testis, we had discussed regarding the presence of four different types of cells. There are many epithelial cells, sarcoli cells, Leydig cells and competent cells. So in today's class, we will be discussing regarding the functions of these different types of cells which are being present in and around the seminiferous tubules. So firstly, the cells which are present in the seminiferous tubule are the first one is the spermatogenic cell and the other one is Sertoli cell. And the cells which are present outside the seminiferous tubule, so they are Leydig cells and competent cells. So let us discuss first the cells which are present inside the seminiferous tubules. Inside the seminiferous tubule, there is presence of the germinal epithelium. That is, the entire seminiferous tubule is lined by a germinal epithelium. And this germinal epithelium is made up of mainly two types of cell, spermatogenic cell and Sertoli cell. So spermatogenic cell, spermatogenic cell are those cells which are deployed in nature, which are cuboidal in shape. So these spermatogenic cell uh, divide mitotically to give rise to spermatogonia. Further, the spermatogonia divides mitotically to produce primary spermatocyte. Primary spermatocyte undergoes first meiosis to form secondary spermatocyte. And secondary spermatocyte divides uh, second meiosis and gives rise to spermatid. So spermatid basically are non-functional, non-functional, non-motile cells. And these gets transformed by a process called as spermiogenesis into the spermatozoa or you can call them as sperm. So here spermatogenic cells are the cells which are being involved in the formation of the spermatozoa. So meanwhile in the germinal epithelium we can also find the cells which are called as Sertoli cells. Sertoli cells are the pyramidal shaped cells and these Sertoli cells in the earlier video I had told you that we will discuss regarding the function of the Sertoli cell. So today's uh, class we will discuss regarding the functions of the Sertoli cell. So Sertoli cell mainly it is being involved in the nourishment of the sperms which means once the sperms are being formed so these sperms get their nourishment when they come and bind to the Sertoli cell. Second Sertoli cells secrete androgen binding protein or it is called as testicular globulin protein. So this androgen binding protein generally <coughs> increases the concentration of uh, the testosterone into the seminiferous tubule and that facilitates the spermatogenesis. Next is Sertoli cell secrete anti-mullerian factor. So this anti-mullerian factor inhibits the formation of mullerian duct during the early uh, fetal life. So what is the mullerian duct? Mullerian duct generally gives rise to the oviduct that is basically a female accessory duct. So here the Sertoli cell secretes anti-mullerian factor. So this anti-mullerian factor inhibits the growth of the mullerian duct thereby it uh, prevents the growth of the female accessory ducts in males. Thereafter is Sertoli cell produces estradiol aromatase enzyme. Now what is the function of this particular enzyme? Estradiol aromatase enzyme generally inhibits or decreases the testosterone levels. When it decreases the testosterone levels, this gives a negative feedback. That is, the testosterone gets converted into estradiol and that increase in the estradiol gives a negative feedback to that of the uh, hypothalamus. So when the hypothalamus receives a negative feedback, thereby the spermatogenesis process starts uh, decreasing. Next is inhibin and aphelin are the two hormones which are being secreted by the Sertoli cells. So that work together and regulate the FSH activity in which inhibin generally inhibits. That is it sends a negative feedback to the hypothalamus where it inhibits the FSH activity and decreases spermatogenesis whereas activin uh, gives a good response to that of FSH to increase the spermatogenesis. 
Next is Sertoli cell secretes ERM transcription factor or you can call it as ETS transcription factor. So this ETS transcription factor generally maintains spermatogonial stem cells in the testis. And last one that is the blood testis barrier. Sertoli cells also acts as a blood testis barrier which generally provides add lumina, luminal environment to the stem cells. That is first one. Second one is the blood testis barrier <laughs> avoids a production of anti-sperm antibodies and autoimmune responses which generally may result into the sterility in case of the male. So this blood testis barrier avoids the production of anti-sperm antibodies as well as autoimmune system. Thereafter is Sertoli cells even secrete transferrin. Transferrin is a type of a glycoprotein or you can also call it as blood plasma protein which generally delivers the ion ion to that of the spermatogenic cells for the spermatogenesis process to occur. So these all are the functions of the Sertoli cells. So inside the seminiferous tubule spermatogenic cell and Sertoli cells are being present. Now let's move on to that of the cells which are present outside the seminiferous tubule. So outside the seminiferous tubule there are presence of the cluster of cells. So these cluster of cells are called as Leydig cells which were being discovered by lady henceforth the name is given as Leydig cells. Leydig cells are generally yellow in color because they contain the yellow colored pigment. So these Leydig cells are also called as interstitial cells as because they are present in the interstitium. So these Leydig cells under the influence of the hormone, luteinizing hormone, these Leydig cells secretes the androgens and among the androgens the main one is called as testosterone. So androgens mainly are being involved in maintaining the secondary sexual characters in males such as growth of the facial hairs, broadening, sorry, broadening of uh, the pectoral girdle, deepening of the voice, thereafter is helps in the formation of the Adam's apple, growth in the penile region, that is penis region. Second uh, function of these androgens is, androgens are involved in metabolic activities in the human males, either it may be the catabolic or it may be the anabolic uh, reactions. Thereafter, androgens <coughs> or testosterone stimulates erythropoietin and thereby androgens helps in the erythropoiesis which means production of the erythrocytes or RBCs. Androgens are also involved in the muscle as well as the bone growth and development where androgens mainly act upon the skeletal muscles where they increase the size of the skeletal muscle cell and thereafter it also acts that is androgen acts upon the epiphyseal plates of the bone and thereby increases the size of the bone also. So henceforth here the androgens act upon the I mean, they are necessary for muscle as well as the bone growth and development. Next is androgens even stimulates the formation of the Wolfian ducts. Wolfian ducts are very very important because Wolfian ducts are those ducts which we call generally during the embryonic life but in the later stages of the life these Wolfian ducts gets transformed into epididymis, vas deferens as well as seminal vesicles. So formation of these accessory duct and an accessory gland is being completely depending upon the androgen secreted by the Leydig cells and thereafter is Leydig cells also uh, acts upon certain fat cells and inhibits the fat deposition in those fat cells. And apart from that of the Leydig cells, the next one is called as immunologically competent cells. So these competent cells which are present, so these are very less in number and these competent cells are is also called as lymphoid cells. So these lymphoid cells generally initiate immune response against an antigen. So whenever an antigen enters into that of the testis, <coughs> these cells gets activated and they initiate the immune response and thereby bringing back all the 
defensive mechanism to prevent that entry of the antigen. So this is all about the cells which are being present in and around the seminiferous tubule of the testis. Thank you.